There are so many fascinating spells we know about within the wizarding world, but which will we be able to use in Hogwarts Legacy? In this video, I'm going to go through all the gameplay footage so far and list all of the confirmed spells for the game. Keep watching to find out all of the spells you can cast in Hogwarts Legacy. The first time we hear a spell in any gameplay is right at the start of the state of play. Spell number one is Lumos, which lights the end of a wand and acts as a torch. In the charms classroom, we have this board full of spells, so let's go through them. Avis conjures a flock of birds from the caster's wand. Coloportus is used to lock doors. Petrificus Totalus is the body binding curse that will freeze the victim. Potato Horribius shields a whole area from attack as used by Professor Flitwick in the Battle of Hogwarts. Nox turns out the Lumos light. Richter Sempra is the tickling charm. Alohomora is the unlocking charm. Lacanum Inflammare lights small objects on fire. Relatio forces an object or person to release its hold on something. And finally, Glissio is the incantation that is used to transform a staircase into a smooth slide. So hopefully we can slide down the staircases in Hogwarts once we've mastered that spell. Even more spell boards in this scene, and we get a ton of more spells confirmed. Piatotum Locomotor, as used by McGonagall in the Battle of Hogwarts, brings an artifact to life. Tergio wipes objects clean. Expecto Patronum casts your Patronus, protecting you from Dementors. Immobilus immobilises the victim and stops them from moving. Mobilicorpus is quite a dark spell to be hanging up in the classroom, as it does suspend dead bodies by hanging them in the air, just like Voldemort did in Malfoy Manor. Periculum sends red sparks from the wands like Harry did in the Goblet of Fire Maze. Repairo is the charm to fix anything that's broken. Mobilebus is used to levitate any wooden object. Episki cures any minder injuries, and the Gillimans allows the caster to form the Gillimancy or mind reading. If our character can get skilled enough to perform the Gillimancy in the game, that would be very cool to see. As we get further into the state of play, we start hearing and seeing different spells in action. Accio is the summoning charm we see the character use at various points throughout the castle, and we can see the repair or charm being used here to fix this old bridge. We can also work out a lot of the spells in the combat footage. Here we have Confringo being used, which blasts the opponent with an explosion. Expelliarmus disarms the opponent, and we hear the speaker say, slam with Descendo, so we can slam our opponents to the ground with the Descendo charm. We also hear Roast with Incendio, which conjures a jet of flames to the opponent. We know we can mix and match lots of spells whilst we're in combat and define our own fighting style. We can even use the new powerful magic that the professors don't understand yet to obliterate our strongest opponents. Sneaking is also a core element of any RPG, and in Hogwarts Legacy we can sneak with the disillusionment charm as seen here. There are also plenty of dark spells for us to use in Hogwarts Legacy. The most notorious of the three unforgivable curses is Avada Kedavra, the killing curse. Sebastian also shows us Crucio, the torture curse that inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. In the secret notes on Hogwarts Legacy's Instagram page, we also get confirmed spells again, such as Petrificus Totalus, Richter Semper, Ridiculous, and Stupefy. It seems like we have a big challenge ahead of ourselves to learn all of these charms and catch up with the other students, but I'm so excited for it. Let me know in the comments below if there were any I missed, and I can't wait for more spells to be released. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Hogwarts Legacy content. Thank you for watching, see you next time.